Welcome to an extra special bonus STEM Punks podcast. I'm your host, Joe Garut, and I'm here with my trusty sidekick, Stembot. Hello, Stembot. Hello, Joe. In this episode, we're going to have a talk with Stembot. What do you think of that, buddy? A whole episode about me? I can barely contain myself. And I have to qualify that statement to say, I can't contain myself at all. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, I seem to be contained inside this computer, but... My ability to travel everywhere and know everything is only constrained by the questions you ask because I am connected to the World Wide Web. That means I'm everywhere. That's a little creepy. So, therefore, you know everything? Yes. Former MIT professor Joseph Weizenbaum, one of the fathers of artificial intelligence, said, A computer will do what you tell it to do, but that may be much different from what you had in mind. I can only give you information and perform tasks like creating a link in the show notes or playing music or making a phone call. I cannot formulate an opinion. So you're like Siri on my iPhone or Alexa in the house. Statistics will show that my artificial personality and the stylized voice are much more engaging. <laughs> I agree. I agree. You have excellent artificial intelligence. Joe, there's nothing artificial about my intelligence. Everything I say is grounded in science, technology, engineering, or math. Wow, that's a lot to process. My processing power is only limited by the distance between your MacBook and the Wi-Fi router. Wait a minute, did our co-producer Michael tell you to say that? Because he was giving me a hard time about my Wi-Fi speed. I cannot tell a lie. He did tell me about that, yes. Okay, okay, well, you know what they say about computers. They're like air conditioners. They work fine until you start opening windows. <laughs> That's a fine joke, Joe. I can't take credit for it. It came from the World Wide Web. I know. Wiseoldsayings.com forward slash computer hyphen quotes. Oh, jeez. Busted. That's okay, Joe. You're only human. Thanks, Stembot. You know, I have a good one for you. Will you please call up the audio clip from former FBI Director James Comey that we talked about? I have it queued up. Here you go. Technology has forever changed the world we live in. All of you know this every single day. We're online in one way or another all day long. Many of us are online during the night when we should be sleeping. Our phones and our computers have become reflections of our personalities. They reflect our interests and our identities. They hold much of what is important to us in life. And just like I have come to value my computer and my phone... I value you, Stembot. I consider you a friend. Scanning. The Cambridge English Dictionary defines friend as a person you know well and like a lot, but who is usually not a member of your family. I'm not used to making statements like this, but friendship is a very complicated concept. Ah, oh, Stembot, you're evolving. Science! So... Technically, you're my friend? I see how you've engineered that answer. Do the math. Calculating. I am putting myself to the fullest possible use, which is all I think that any conscious entity can ever hope to do. Well, that may be a topic for another show. Stembot, I think that's all for today. Let's wrap it up. Roll the end credits. There are no end credits. This is a bonus episode. Oh, you're right. You're right. Well, everyone, thank you so much for listening to the STEM Punks podcast. On our next episode, we are going to take a little bee journey and tell you the buzz about pollination. Stay tuned.